little dumbbell. Have a great day at the plaza. Ah, thanks, mommy. <laughs> I am troubled by something, K.O. Turn trouble into rubble. That's my motto. That is not your motto. I know. I'm just trying different mottos on. Anyway, what's the rubble? The confusion of the Pal card apocalypse has caused us to forget. You also have a Powie Zowie, and we have not unlocked it. Oh my or I totally didn't even think of my own Powie Zowie. As usual, you have been so busy helping others, you have forgotten about yourself. We have to start trying to unlock it now, Dendi. It could take weeks to figure out what combination of things will please me enough to unlock it. I found a frog in the grass. Look at it. A frog? <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his little hoppy legs. Your Powie Zowie is unlocked. Let's see what I do. Use my Powie Zowie. Howdy, loser me. I'm not you. And you're supposed to be locked away inside a cage in my subconscious. Not anymore. No! Uh-oh. He's awake. K.O. How many fingers am I holding up, dude? Cut it out, Rad. Uh, what happened? T.K.O. happened. Yeah, your emo alter ego escaped your brain cage. Again. Oh, now I remember. Dendi tried to use my Powie Zowie and he came out. In the plaza? Partially destroyed, but no worse than usual. Mr. Gar must be so mad. Mommy must be disappointed. There you are, K.O. Are you okay? Mommy! Uh, Mr. Gar, yeah, I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. That little whippersnapper that looks like you started trashing the plaza. And then vamoosed. I asked him to please stop, and he told me to get bent. I'm so ashamed. The important part is that you kids are safe and unharmed. The plaza we can rebuild again. Yes, I'm just relieved that you and Dendi are okay. But why did you let TKO out, KO? He didn't, Mrs. KO. We were just trying out his Powie Zowie, and it turned out to be TKO. But I hacked the Pow Card Company logs and found that Lord Boxman authorized KO's Powie Zowie change. Obviously, this was an attempt to discredit KO as retaliation for undoing his scheme to reset everyone's hero levels. That goof! Oh, honey, it wasn't your fault. Yeah, don't beat yourself up about it, KO. We know you'd never try to harm the plaza. No, that can't be! How could those two goody two-shoes just forgive Teo like that? His alter ego destroyed the plaza. It was supposed to turn on him, despise him, cast him out. I shall have to take another tack with this irritating kid. Yeah.
now! We've got a situation on our hands! Code Beige! Hmm. Code Beige? That's, uh, we're low on small bills in the register? That's a Code Burgundy! Oh, um, the lightning nacho dispenser exploded? <sighs> That's a Cold Desert Bloom! Nah, jeez, um, uh, Enid's having a bad day and eating souls again? What? No! That's a cold iridescent fish scale! K.O., did you even read the employee manual? Mommy reads it to me every night before bed. But it's 700 pages long. Carol reads my manual out loud? With her mouth? Yeah, with her mouth. Anyway, code beige is... Someone pillaged the magazine rack and spread magazines all over the plaza. Oh, yeah! That's so beige! <laughs> I mean, bad. I need you to gather all the magazines and put them back on the rack. When customers can't find their favorite magazines, it's pandemonium! <laughs> I'm on it, Mr. Gar! I will pick up the periodicals.
Don't move a muscle. Or piston. Magazine thief. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Can't you see my programming is upset? A lot of people were upset because their favorite magazines were missing. Big deal. At least they weren't in the magazines. Underneath some snarky headline. Huh. I think it would be really cool to be in a magazine. <laughs> well, I guess you're not gonna buzz off until I take out my raging emotions on you. You can do this, KO. Beat you in battle? I kind of do that most of the time. No! Then why are you making crying sound effects? It's kind of making me feel bad. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> You're just a kid and a human. Fine, I probably wouldn't understand. But how is a kid ever supposed to not be a kid anymore if everyone keeps treating me like a kid? I supposed to know? I got enough problems being a Shannon model. Robots have problems? Uh, yeah. How about this for a little robot problem? I'm sick of coming off the manufacturing line in the same old boring bronze body. So I decide to make my own dress and wear it to the annual Villain's Mixer Ball. And next thing I know, I'm on the back page of Villainous and Fabulous magazine. They made fun of my outfit, and now every villain is laughing behind my back. That's so rude. I know, right? I thought all you bad guys were like a, a team, and you stick up for each other, just like us good guys do. Uh, uh, think of how mean we are to you good guys. We're the same to each other. It's how we're programmed. I just wanted to be different than what Shannon is always supposed to be. I wanted to be myself or something. But it was stupid. <gasps> Don't say that, Shannon. Wanting to be yourself and have people accept you for who you are is not stupid. 
And if there's people, villains or not, who don't get that, well then, they're the stupids. Yeah, stupid, evil, meanie villains. <gasps> <laughs> Bunch of jerky, worky turkeys. <laughs> jerky, worky turkeys. Hey, why are you being so nice to me? We're enemies. I'm not being nice to you. I just know what's right and what's wrong, and what was done to you was wrong. If I was being nice, I'd tell you that I think you're a really cool fighter, and your saw attacks are really scary. <gasps> wow. Thanks, K.O. Hey, do you want to be my best enemy? Really? Yeah, I'll be best enemies with you. Cool. <laughs> Battle you later! to the code beige, and the situation is all clear. Excellent work, K.O. Think fast! Code Periwinkle! <sighs> um... Crinkly Wrinkly has locked himself in the employee washroom? Correct! We'll make an employee of the month out of you yet! K.O. Press KO. Okay. Okay. 
Wow. 